Oh, hey guys, how the hell has it been? It's been one hell of a weekend and, oh, jeez. Uh, I'm still kind of recovering from MomoCon. And let me just tell you guys something. I have been really, really sore for like the past week. It definitely is my lower back. And I had some things that helped definitely with that lower back pain. I still actually, I just found that I still have a, um, an, that ice pack that was given to me when I had, had sprained my ankle uh, back in February. So I still have that. And uh, I, I, I used it, uh, I wanna say, um, whenever I was here at home, just trying to relax and trying to like, you know, you know, try, try to get the pain to like go away. And so far I, I, feel, I feel better than yesterday, uh, a hell of a lot better than yesterday and Sunday. Uh, since those two days were specifically, um, I guess the, the, the really bad cases with that back pain, but I am dealing with it right now. I'm actually thinking about going to a chiropractor, but unfortunately that's probably going to have to be on hold because unfortunately my car was taken away. Now I didn't make a video about this because I kind of expected this to happen. So I'm going to get my car back by next week for sure. Uh, I've already sent them a $200 security deposit. So car's not going anywhere. So don't have to worry about my car um, being sold, being auctioned off. Um, so it's sitting at wherever the fuck it's sitting until I go and pick it up. Uh, my stuff is, I think it was taken out, not entirely sure, which is pretty fucking dumb, but you know, it's whatever. It's been a couple of days and, I, and honestly, I don't blame them. I don't blame them for um, taking the car or yeah, basically taking my car when they did, but they they really got it at like the worst possible time because my mom's about to go into surgery this upcoming Monday uh, with her foot, so it's it's going to be very interesting um, next couple months. Um, hopefully, things will calm down. And like I said, I am planning on talking to the company that I'm, the temp company that I'm working for and uh, seeing if I can't get something better, something that can get me earning a heck of a lot more money than I'm getting right, right now. Because even so, I'm only getting like 500, 600 a week. And since I only worked three days last week, who knows how much I'm gonna get this week. I'm probably gonna get, if I'm even lucky, two to 300 top. So yeah, I currently have about 73 in my pocket due to having to um, literally just give credit acceptance to $200 just to put a freaking stop for uh, my car getting auctioned off. So that's taken care of. I'm definitely going to my I'm, I'm definitely going to get that taken care of on Friday. My dad has agreed to help get my car back and help with rent since that's coming up as well. And I feel really bad that I'm doing this because it sucks. It sucks not getting enough money for rent, car payments and utilities. It really does. And I've canceled pretty much everything that I haven't been using except for PlayStation Plus, YouTube TV, and I want to say SiriusXM. Yeah, yeah SiriusXM and Spotify. So those are like the only freaking extras that I have because those are all like um, $9.99 a month except for SiriusXM, which is like 20 some odd a month. So, you know, I mean, SiriusXM is something I use every freaking day anyways, because it's something I listen to on the way to work, and it's something to listen to when I have nothing else to do. 
thank God for the app. So, you know, it's something I'm not entirely worried about uh, in particular, but, you know, I also got my own utilities to take care of, uh, specifically, you know, internet, uh, power, AC. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of things that I have to deal with right now. It's, it's really, really crazy. And I really wish that it wasn't this crazy. It, it, it's actually really fucking stupid how this has just been turning out. And I'm starting to think that, well, maybe if I didn't go to MomoCon, I probably would have had enough to pay for a car payment and then pay for rent this next week. So, it's it's really crazy. It's insane, and I wish that there was something I could do about it, but unfortunately, there isn't. So, here's the plan then, for at least the next couple of weeks, is to try to get the car back. Now, E3's coming up. E3's coming up in, um, in a couple of weeks, and I have my, holy crap, I just remembered that I have a 24-hour stream coming up um, the weekend of E3. So that's coming up. And not to also mention, next month is the 10th anniversary of being on this channel. And God damn it, do I have something special for you guys because of all the videos that we've taken, that me and Dragonmire have taken at MomoCon, we finally did something extremely special that I think you guys will probably enjoy. It's been six or so years in the making, uh, but I'm not going to spoil much, except that there's a bit of fighting going on. Um, but with that being said, I'm, I really can't wait to start working on the uh, video. Um, Running up a script about things that I did with Dragon Myron, then of course things that I did Saturday and Sunday. I spent two days with Dragon Myron, then of course I spent two days by myself at Momocon, and that was un it was unfortunate uh, because Dragon Myron was just very very sore by Saturday, so he was like, you know what? I felt like I spent or I had plenty of time that it was worth the $75 to get that four day pass. Even though, you know, he didn't last for the whole four days, which is why I was kind of telling him, next year we're going to, we're going to order these tickets like super freaking early. Uh, and then I'm going to like mail, uh, have them mailed all to me. Uh, so, depending on whoever's going, between me, Dragonmire, and possibly his girlfriend, and maybe, who knows, maybe another friend of mine, just really depends, I'm going to have all those, um, all those passes get mailed to me, that way I have all the passes ready to go, it's, you know, it's all in one freaking place, everybody can um, either meet me at the convention, or meet me somewhere, or even just come here and then we all travel from here to the convention it's only 20 minutes away 15 to 20 minutes depending on traffic so like i told dragon Meyer, next year we're going to plan this a hell of a lot better because i really wanted to get um the passes mailed to me like as soon as possible and he can do whatever to pay me back because all i can do is just get his information and, and then leave it that, but just ensure that the, all these passes get mailed directly to me. That way, I can handle all of it. That way I know, okay, this guy's going, this guy's going, this guy's going, so on and so forth. And it would be perfect because Dragon Meyer, uh, even though it's all four days, he's not going to have to worry about missing say Thursday or Sunday since Fridays and Saturdays are usually the biggest days of the mall anyways um, it, it would just be perfect it, it's it's just gonna be perfect to be honest and that that would 
probably make it just perfect for him since he's planning on I don't want to spoil much but he's he's trying to plan on getting a job trying to plan on move which would be great for him because it'd be great to like see him hang out with him and then plan more videos like the video that you guys will see eventually probably within the next two weeks so like I said I'm gonna work on the script for for um, at least a week this weekend I'm going to try to record said script and then next week will be the whole editing process so it's gonna be th this video is gonna be really really great because you guys will get to see a lot of things that you guys probably weren't able to see uh, on the streams that I did in the stream that Epic Gaming Party did uh, that you know we well I wouldn't say we but I was very very happy to be a part of um, very very fortunate to be a part of and I like to just personally give a huge shout out to Epic Gaming Party for allowing me to basically promote myself pr uh, present myself and in my own streaming fashion and basically be one Death Eater at the convention um, like I never had been before. It, it was really, really great. I can't wait to work with him or, well, see him again maybe next year or who knows. It just really, really depends on what happens. It's going to be great. Um, it's going to be great for, for at least the next couple of years. It just really depends. But, you know, he's definitely going to be someone that I will definitely stop by and check out um, if, if slash when he's around. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be great. And I really can't wait for, for next year. And it's going to be insane because next year is going to be, um, <coughs> well, let's just say next year uh, the price has already went up by like $5. So I hope that's not going to be a regular thing. Oh, and speaking of which, they're going to be holding Momocon next year at the Georgia World Congress Center Hall B instead of Hall A this year, which is two times just as big than Hall A. That's insane. Momocon is growing year after year with so many people uh, coming, and this is just going to add more things to do. Um, and it's going to be really great because I want to try to host my own panel. And if I can do that, that would be insane. That would be really, really cool if I was able to host my own panel. And just do a bunch of really crazy things. Or even be like Epic Gaming Party just host or just do my own little thing around the um, the gaming area of Momocon and just literally do that all weekend long I would I would not have a problem doing that because that to me would be extremely exciting so I'm definitely gonna have to get my <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to get an upgrade because right now my computer being right here, you guys can't see it, but it's right here. It's definitely right here. With my computer being right there though, um, or my laptop, I'm definitely gonna have to look to get an upgrade if I'm going to do something like that, to do something just like Epic Gaming Party, uh, except probably not do challenges, but more or less do, um, I don't know, I, I, I really don't know. It's either do my own freaking Death Eater the Unknown thing at Momocon, which would, again would be really fucking awesome. Or I had an idea and I wanted to get with my buddy Igbar to possibly do something at either a convention or Momocon or even get his permission to do something like that because it's, it's his group's idea to do what they call an anime night every Saturday and what we would do is basically 
uh, just watch an entire anime um, of everybody's choosing, do whatever. We would literally just probably do like a, what do you call it? Um, a voting thing. And we would literally just do Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, three separate animes that the people would choose. And it, it would be pretty great because, you know, depending on the anime that we watch, it would have to be, you know, restricted to um, 12 episodes, uh, including a 15, or excuse me, uh, not 15, 30 minute break um, for bathrooms and stuff like that. Or if not that, just do like a five minute break after each and every single episode. So it'd be really cool. So it, it's, it's just, you know, something that I'm currently thinking about doing. I really have no idea um, what I would do if I w were to do a panel. But, you know, I'm starting to think of ideas and it just really depends on what happens. So come next year, probably around the beginning or whenever um, registrations for booths and panels or whatnot come around, I will definitely register to do a panel um, and depending on what I do, it would most likely just do that and that would just probably be it. So depending on anime night, Death Eater the Unknown, or even just streaming all freaking weekend long with either my laptop or a possible brand new computer. Next year is going to be freaking insane. I have some really good ideas that I'm starting to think about. And, um, well, it all starts right now. So, you know, like I said, MomoCon this year was fantastic. I made a couple of friends that I'm proud to call friends. Uh, I added a few people on Discord from MomoCon. And, you know, it, it, it's still great uh, to go to MomoCon, meet a bunch of new people, start a Kitty Toes Always Right um, thing, whatever <laughs> we did. <laughs> but, fuck, fuck me. Th this MomoCon was incredible, and I can't wait to show you guys all the things that I did. Me and Dragonmire. And then, of course, just me by myself. Can't wait. Uh, I'm definitely going to show a lot of stuff that I did uh, on my own stream. Uh, there were, unfortunately, some things that got skipped from the stream due to bad connection um, down downstairs and the exhibits area. But there were some really cool moments that I think you guys will definitely enjoy. So... Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoy my content, please be sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you get notified whenever I make a video, and head over to my Twitch, which is, the link is down there in the description below. Hit the follow button, hit the notifications button there so you get notified whenever I go live. That reminds me, before I forget, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my live streaming schedule next Monday, but I will definitely be live for the rest of the week. I did stream today because I'm still kind of sore from this past weekend and I wanted to like take things easy, try to get back into work mode before going straight into streaming. Plus I didn't really know what I was going to stream. So it just really depends. Um, plus Beat Saber is kind of broken at the moment. Uh, Beat Saber keeps updating, which keeps breaking the freaking mods. So gonna have to keep trying to you know get the get beat saber to work or wait for the mods to do its thing or just play um, GTA make a couple of tracks or even FLE and whatnot but I'll definitely be streaming for the rest of the week and uh, my stream schedule will go back to normal starting 
on Sunday, uh, not Monday, but starting on Sunday, which is my beginning of the week. So that's that. Anywho, um, I think that's pretty much all that I have for today. Um, otherwise, besides the 24 hour stream that's coming up in the next couple of weeks, I'll let you guys know if that is still a go. I still have some things to set up. And that also reminds me this weekend, we're going to be doing a lot of setups for the 24 hour stream. So I'll be testing a lot of things with Sonic, Nico Chan and Quizzy um, to like hope and pray that everything works out. Uh, and then of course the week after this weekend, I think it's literally next weekend um, 8th and 9th is when we will do the 24 hour stream. So I'll, you know, message them and make sure that they're available for those days. I know Sonic Nika Chan is definitely going to be available during that time frame. So, you know, it's going to be pretty fun to, uh, chill out with him and Quizzy for 24 freaking hours straight as we try to survive in Minecraft. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be a modded Minecraft because I don't know how well uh, the server is going to hold up. So it just really, really depends. And if we can't do it my way, then uh, we'll, we'll figure out something. Uh, but other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have a lot more news probably throughout the week. Probably more stuff to talk about, definitely, especially from either MomoCon or things that I have planned um, that are coming up within the next couple of weeks. There's a lot of things that I could talk about, but if I do that, this video would be 30 minutes long. So, you know, it's, it's a shame and it's unfortunate. But hey, if you want to watch a 30 minute to a possible hour long video, please let me know because I will literally do that. I'm not afraid to do that. You guys have seen me do a 30 minute video before. I'm not afraid. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. I need to go find my boots because I can't find them anywhere. I put them somewhere, but I can't freaking find them. So I'm gonna to try to find them real quick and then I'm gonna head off to work. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow morning. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good week. Have a good rest of your day and stay cool. It's very, very hot out or at least it has been for the past week. It's been 90. So stay hydrated, stay cool, uh, stay alert, get into a goddamn pool if you could find one. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.